I, for some reason I feel like I have to tuck in my pockets even though you guys can't even see my pockets, but it's happening. Hi, my name is Emily Olsh and here's a couple ways to get over your ex. They say that exes are an example of what you shouldn't have in your life. Stupid Tumblr quotes, I swear to God, I swear to God. I have a very long, long, despicable, embarrassing history of getting broken up with. I don't know what it is, maybe it's just like, no, I'm not, not good enough. I'm not trying to sound like I'm a freaking professional, okay? But at the rate I'm going, I might as well be, am I right? So your boyfriend dumps you, or your girlfriend, I don't know your case, and you're trying to get over them. Keep watching this video, and follow my steps to a happier life. It sounds like this video is like sponsored by like my own book or something. Buy my new book, guys! It's called Steps to a Happier Life by Emily Olsh. Get it today on Amazon or Barnes and Noble. Tip one, it is never, and I repeat, never a crime to understand why you just got broken up with. You should ask the person why you're getting broken up with, and if they say that you're ugly, then I feel like it's a really good place to start to find out why you got broken up with and see if you can work on that part of yourself for future relationships. And ask yourself, was it for the best? Was it for a good reason? Is anyone ever gonna love me? And that brings us to the next step is acceptance. I understand how hard it can be to get to this step and it could be a really long time until you get to this step. After you vented to your mom about it for several days, it's okay to accept it and understand that this relationship is just not gonna work out. The next step is to do whatever you need to do to let all your emotions out. If you wanna cry, it's okay to cry. If you wanna stay in bed for an extra two hours, stay in bed for another two hours. Whatever you need to do, that will let you get all your feelings out. If you need to vent to your best friend about it, that's okay too. Just try your best not to post anything about it on social media because that's just unnecessary drama that you do not want. I'd much rather have you burn your prom photos than post a subtweet that will just cause so much commotion. And speaking of social media, that brings us to the next step. Whether you got off on good or bad terms, it is not really ever a bad idea to just cut off this person off your social media for a little bit. I know that this step could be really hard, but try Trust me, it helps. <laughs> because if you keep holding on to that person, what you wish you could have had, it's not gonna make your breakup any easier. Basically, you just don't want to still have them in your life and keep being reminded that they are an existing person because you don't want to think about them. It's just gonna prolong your feelings for the breakup and it's just gonna be a little bit harder. Another step is to be around people that you truly care about and that you love to spend your time with. They will be there for you and they can also help you get your mind off of things. Another thing is to catch up on hobbies that you haven't gotten to do in the past couple months. Whether it's finishing season two of your favorite show on Netflix, or if it's putting together the last couple pieces of that thousand piece puzzle that you wanted to work on. Or even if it's making YouTube videos. Having a good, healthy, emotional outlet for you to do is a really good way to spend some time with yourself and get your mind off of things as well. And the very last step, but absolutely not least, Live your life as a single person and be happy. Don't hold back from having a life. If Susie wants you to go roller skating with her just because she thinks that you'll have a good time, go roller skating with her because that's freaking fun and you're gonna be hanging out with Susie. Just don't alienate yourself from people that you used to be very close with just because of a breakup. If anything, they'll help you more and they'll help you get over that person. Another thing is don't get under someone else just to get over him or her, whoever it is. I think the whole point of being single and coming out of a relationship and stuff is to be happy while you're alone and you don't have to rely on anybody else for that happiness because boy I will tell ya I am single and I am feeling good today on this earth. Well that's all I have to give you for tips and tricks to get over your ex. If you have any questions, comments, or anything else for me if you just want to say hi to Susie 
post a comment below. Uh, and I also have a Twitter and an Instagram if you want to keep up with me outside of my YouTube because YouTube is a big part of my life, but I also have a life outside of YouTube, okay? It's been real. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch me.